Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to find this value. We have 3 half to the power 3 half. Of course, we need to solve it without any calculator. So how can you do how can you solve it? Step by step. So take a look. We have number raised to the power. And I want to show you um, this case. We will have, for example, cubes root of a. What we will have? We can rewrite this cubes root as a to the power one third. So this number signals us about the power of root, and this in our denominator is the power of this of this a. So this is our rule, and we use let's use this rule right here. What we will have? This is our a three half. So we have three half, and take a look. This number signals us about the power of a root. So we have two, so we will have square root, and this is cube signals us about the power of this a. So we will have 3 half to the power cube. So we will write this, this 3 half to the power 3 half as a square root of 3 half to the third power. What are we going to do next? Take a look. We need to know about a rule. If we have parentheses raised to the third power, we need to raise nominator and denominator to the third power. So we will have 3 cube in our denominator and 2 cube in our denominator. So let's simplify this. Let's use next step. What we will have square root. We all know that cube we can write as 3 times 3 times 3. And 2 cube we can write as 2 times 2 times 2. What are we going to do next? Let's let's multiply this. Let's let's find this value. Or in our case, let's let's separate. Let's write 3 times 3. We will have square root of 9 times 3. And in our denominator, we will have 2 times 2, we will have square root of 4 times 2. Because right here we can find this square root square root value. So let's learn the rule. If we have square root of a times b, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. So we can separate it and write in as square root. And let's use this rule in our denominator and in our denominator. What we will have? We will have that square root of 9 times square root of 3 dividing by square root of 4 times square root of 2. So, and take a look, we can find this square root value, square root of 9 equal to 3, so we'll have 3 square root of 3 and dividing by square root of 4 equal to 2 square root of 2. Of course we can we can simplify this. If we multiply both nominator, nominator and denominator by square root of 2, so let's multiply this nominator and denominator by square root of 2, what we will have? If we multiply this by square root of 2, first of all denominator, we will have square root of 2 times square will be 2, and 2 times 2 will be 4. So as you can see in our denominator we will have 4. And if you multiply our nominator by square root of 2 will have 3, and this element we can write under 1 square root sign, and 3 times 2 will be 6. So as a result we will have 3 square root of 6. And this will be our answer to this, to this question. Learn this rule, remember this rule. It's really good to know this rule, and if you still have any question, write a question in comment. Write a suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.